torso hail. Torso Hale is an idea for a horror movie, a treatment. The story starts off in Vietnam. This guy and his four buddies are dug in and under attack. A rocket or mortar or something makes a direct hit. They are blown to pieces, literally. Their people get out to them, but all they find are just piles of arms and legs and blood and gore the whole bit. Anyway, it's such a mess, they can't tell one guy's limb from another, so they just stick everything all together in one big bag and send them off in a helicopter. The main guy, the star of the movie, is a complete quad. No arms or legs, barely even stumps, a torso, but he's alive. All of them are alive by some weird miracle. Perhaps it should begin like an old Disney movie. That paintbrush going over the screen in big sweeps and making a full-size cartoon of the jungle, then transforming it into the real thing. There it is. At the hospital, it's so crazy and confused that when these guys come in, the doctors and nurses don't know what from what. They just start sewing. The main guy stays a torso, but they put his arms and legs back on the other guys. Two guys each get one of his arms, two guys each get one of his legs. I know this isn't realistic, they can't sew that stuff back on, but this is a movie. So the star is a torso, and each of his buddies have one of his limbs. None of them, of course, know anything about it, as they are all knocked out on morphine. They get sent off in different directions to different hospitals. So years later, back in the world, they all figure everybody but them is dead. The torso recuperates in Japan. There could be some shocking scenes here when he comes out of his morphine days and realizes he is a torso. Perfect for a beautiful Japanese nurse to enter in and take care of him, fall for him and tell him some oriental philosophy. She could give him hope, make love to him the night before he leaves. He'd be feeling pretty down about his manhood. This would be natural. Also, it could hit on that Asian thing, his bitterness at slant-eyed people. Now it's a Japanese nurse who gets him back on track. But just as love blooms, he shipped off to a hospital back in the States. This torso would have no next of kin but an aunt, lives in some little shit town out in New Mexico and runs a boarding house. She hears about his situation. The army keeps her updated on his progress, but she could care less, 
since he's the youngest boy of this dead half-sister she hated. Care less till she gets a letter saying he gets full disability. So the idea takes hold that she could bring him to the boarding house and get the government money. This woman needs to be established as a total bitch deluxe. She writes the hospital a real kiss-ass note, says how terrible it would be for him to get stuck in the VA the rest of his life, how he's her favorite nephew, all the stuff. Anyway, ultimately she gets permission to become his legal ward. Torso is just a kid too, not 20 yet, a minor, so she gets a guardianship. After over two years in hospitals, Torso is released. He's got some letters from the Japanese nurse, but that's kind of on the back burner. She sends him stuff on the mind, but he can make sarcastic remarks like might as well be chopsticks, good as that shit'll do me. But I figure he probably shouldn't talk much, just glare around and be inarticulate like a Rambo type. So this evil aunt comes to pick him up. Maybe he could be in San Francisco or back east. It doesn't matter. She and her own kid come in a van. They really try to butter up the doctors and nurses in the torso. But he's suspicious because he doesn't hardly know her. He smells a rat. Tries to tell the doctors and nurses he doesn't want to go. But they need the room and don't pay any attention to him. Could be a good scene here of him telling his amputee buddies on the ward goodbye. they get in the van, the true side is revealed. The aunt drives and makes jokes about him while her kid rolls him around like a ball in back, pinching him and laughing. This kid should be a real sadist, but dominated entirely by his mother, who is an even bigger sadist. It could be insinuated they are doing incest. The drive to New Mexico shouldn't be a long scene, but enough to establish some landscape and what the torso is in for. <laughs> 